Welcome to African News Roundup. My name is Lucy. Starting off the segment, Tigrayan forces in the northern Ethiopia have started handing out over heavy weapons in line with a peace deal to end a brutal civil war. The African Union AU said it was a step in the right direction to ending the two-year-long conflict. Hundreds of thousands of people are estimated to have died from starvation, a lack of medical care, and fighting. But a peace agreement signed between the Ethiopian government and the Tigrayan forces in November means the region is beginning to open up again. So what does that mean for the Tigray people? Will handing over weapons be a permanent peace move? Moving on, Uganda has declared the end of a nearly four-month Ebola outbreak since it struggled briefly to contain but was then swiftly able to bring it under control despite the absence of a proven vaccine against the viral strain in question. According to the health minister, Jane Ruth Aseng, they have successfully controlled the spread of Ebola in which 55 of the 143 people were infected since September. This is a great outcome for the citizens in Uganda, but this should not also make them waver. They should be at alert at all times. And to round up this segment, at least five people were missing on Wednesday in the center of the Democratic Republic of Congo, the day after the collapse of a bridge, which gave way to the passage of a truck. According to witnesses, the bridge gave way when the truck was loaded with heavy construction materials crossing its way to the capital of the Kasai province. First off, the collapse of the road bridges is due to the poor condition and maintenance, which is also caused by trucks with heavy loads. Now, how will they maintain and build a long-standing road for citizens to use? Also, how will the government find ways to find these missing people? Well, that's all I have for you on African News Roundup. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.